Hello, welcome to Crip Point Awareness Channel. My name is Sayyid and if you don't know me, please look at my LinkedIn profile. A couple of days back I made a video about uh, Pakistani election where I also talked about a new national voting system based on the blockchain. People asked me a lot of questions about that video and they also asked me why I have not presented this case to the Pakistani government. Well, the new voting system on top of blockchain cannot be implemented, designed and deployed in a one day. But now election is over. We have got a new party who has won the election and now we hope that the new party PTI and Imran Khan they will make the new government. This new party PTI and Imran Khan they are very open minded and really they want to work for the empowerment of the people of Pakistan. They want to work to improve the economy of Pakistan and they want to implement a better social system. So I think the new government will be open to new kind of thoughts, new kind of thinking and they will be open to new technologies. They will not be under pressure of a big multinational organizations and they will not be under pressure of IMF. They will do whatever it takes to empower the citizens of Pakistan. That's we hope that they will do. And they will not be afraid to change the whole economic model in Pakistan. I think they will really try to do their best to make sure that the governance is transparent, that the economic model in Pakistan should be improved. They will try their best to empower the citizens of Pakistan. And these all things can be done with the help of the government. It's a good time to educate the new government and also to raise the awareness not only towards the government but also towards the ordinary citizens of Pakistan so that they understand what is the blockchain, how we could use it, what are their use cases and so on. So I think now it is the time to talk with the future Pakistani government and the authorities in the Pakistan about the new technologies, about the blockchain and about the benefits that it could bring to the ordinary people in Pakistan. So let's now talk about the national voting system that I proposed in my previous video. So this is a continuation of my previous video. In the previous video I talked about that if you build a national voting system on top of blockchain then basically you can get three benefits. The first benefit is about decentralization. The most of the tasks or the responsibilities that belongs to election commission they will go away they will not be needed anymore the second benefit was about security due to the cryptographic techniques that we will be using together with the blockchain and the third benefit was about due to public access everyone is now able to read the results of the election directly from the blockchain so let's now think about how this new national voting system can be built basically in order to build this national voting system on top of blockchain what you need you need a blockchain and you need a blockchain that can handle several thousands of transactions per second because the population in Pakistan is over 200 million so you cannot do this on top of ethereum or on top of bitcoin but there are several other blockchains that can be analyzed and tested maybe there are multiple alternatives please look into different blockchains analyze them study them and understand them and think about what is the appropriate blockchain for such a use case based on my study based on my research work based on the time that i have spent so far i think telos is the appropriate blockchain that can be used in this case because telos is promising up to 50000 transactions per second and this number will improve in the future another thing is that telos will be D apps friendly. In comparison with EOS, it will be much easier to develop and test applications on top of Telos. And Telos is also end user friendly because you have the concept of account just like in EOS. So I think Telos blockchain is a good alternative in this case. But you can look also into other blockchains and see which one is better. Then in order to develop such a system, you need to generate key pairs for every citizens of Pakistan uh, for example Telos key pairs for every citizen of Pakistan and store it somewhere this is a Pakistani national ID 
and as you can see that this id has a smart card already inside it and this smart card has a certain memory capacity and also certain processing capacity probably there are already some key pairs that are stored in the smart card these key pairs which are stored in the smart card they are probably same like a bitcoin key pair or ethereum key pair but they are used for some other purposes their purpose is not to use them for a blockchain but the point is that in in pakistan you already have a national id which has a smart card which has the capability to store key pairs just like the key pairs that we have in eos ecosystem so technically you can generate telos key pairs and store in the same smart card and this smart card can act like a hardware wallet just like a ledger nano hardware wallet or a treasure hardware wallet and then these key pairs can be used now to interact with the Talos blockchain. Now in the Talos ecosystem on the blockchain, you have accounts. So you have key pairs and these key pairs are supposed to be linked with the account on the blockchain. But in reality, these key pairs should be enough. But if needed, okay, they can be linked with the accounts on the blockchain and then those accounts can be used to pass your vote. Just like we do our voting to choose the block producers. Now the question is how you store these key pairs in the smart card you can do the same way as you do in ledger nano or treasure wallet you can implement some kind of software that generate key pairs for you these key pairs can be protected with the 12 digits or 24 digit passphrase or we have in pakistan a central organization called nadra that creates these id cards the same organization can generate key pairs and store the key pairs in this card this is the smart card here is temper resistant so once the keys are there no one can manipulate them and the private keys do not have to leave the smart card you need an application that can interact with the smart card and that can also interact with the blockchain so you need to build some kind of application that interacts with this Pakistan national id and that can be used to cast vote during the national election so basically there are only three building blocks that you need in order to design implement and deploy a national voting system on top of blockchain you need blockchain you need some place to store key pairs and third you need some kind of application that can interact with the national id in this case and also with the blockchain so technically the solution is easy to implement it is practical it is feasible but there are some other issues there are logistic issues there are administrative issues so when the actual use case will be designed and implemented maybe you can end up with some other problems as well for example one of the problem could be okay not every citizens of pakistan have these national ids i mean in order to cost your vote you need a national id so probably that is not an issue so every citizen of pakistan should have this national id the second problem is that now this national id will become very powerful it is just like a bank uh, meaning that it has a lot of power so now the citizens of pakistan they need to understand the importance of this national id and they need to know how to protect this national id and the third problem could be the security of the individual citizens of pakistan since suddenly the pakistani citizens they got a lot of power they have the bank in their hand and in case of voting maybe someone can force them to vote so in most of the places in pakistan i think it is safe to have this kind of power on the hands of citizens and people can freely use it and people can cast vote to whatever party they want but in certain remote areas people can be enforced they can be kidnapped and they can be enforced to uh, to behave in a way that someone else wants but that can be solved with the multi-party signature so in the tariffs ecosystem you can design multi-party signature so during the voting time it's not only the citizens they have to sign their vote but also there could be some administrative body who could sign vote together with the citizen it could be for example some authority in the police station or post office so people can go to the post office and police station and then they can cast vote and the vote has to be signed with multiple signatures so there are multiple alternatives you can think about the point is that by using the blockchain technology you can design implement and deploy a national voting system which can be cheaper than the normal way of working and also which is much more secure and also everyone will trust in this new national voting system 
there is no possibility of predicting the election so before i end my video today i would like also to say that i only talked about one use case today there are multiple use cases of the blockchain and since now we have new government in the pakistan we should try to raise their awareness this is the time when we should try to help our government so that they can understand the blockchain in a better way if we can prove to this government that the blockchain is really going to empower the citizens of pakistan it can change the whole economic model in pakistan and it can empower the citizens of pakistan also from economical point of view and also from social point of view then i think there will be no obstacles on our way also we can educate our government about the topic of transparency since blockchain is a public ledger so everything is transparent so the government can implement the whole electronic budget control system on top of blockchain so every citizens of pakistan can see what kind of money government is spending on different projects so this is another use case that we can think about so many of the things that are supposed to be transparent can be implemented on top of the blockchain so i think this is all for today i don't want to prolong this video further see you next time bye bye